Okay, I'm going to give you an update to the propane lawnmower. Propane tank mounted to a platform. It's just a standard barbecue grill tank. It's an older one without the special safety valves in it. High pressure hose comes here to the high side of this regulator. This is a um, Model T60, and I can't remember the make of it right now, but it comes in the high side, low side right here. It has a little vent, or not a vent, a uh, vacuum tube that hooks up here. Here's the starting primer. And over here are the modifications to the engine itself. Uh, this is the intake manifold. I drilled a hole and tapped it out with 1 8 NPT and hooked up a 1 8 inch um, nipple here to run the vacuum line. And what this vacuum line does is it's a safety for uh, when the engine dies, the propane flow stops. No modifications to the carburetor at all with the exception of the butterfly right here for the choke, I had to remove that. On the air box, get some better light so you can see this. The air box, I basically drilled a hole in the bottom of the air box near the carburetor. 1 8 inch uh, NPT elbow with a barbed nipple and that will go to the low side of the regulator and right here I'm going to set this down so I can show you okay in there inside of the elbow I used some quarter inch uh, copper tubing bent it in an L shape this is a 5 8 washer and a half inch washer and I tack welded them together. I'll put some RTV around it and it'll go right there. And the purpose of this is, yes, it will restrict the air, but it will increase the velocity. And as it increases the velocity, it's gonna create a suction on this tube, which is actually gonna suck the propane out of this regulator. This regulator is a negative, uh, negative pressure regulator. So in the event that this hose got cut going to the carburetor, it's gonna shut off the flow since there's no longer any uh, vacuum pressure being applied to the hose, so it actually sucks it in. This is similar to a mixer you would see on some of these conversion kits for, I don't know, 30 or 40 bucks. It's a brass fitting, copper tubing, a couple washers, a little grinding on the washers. I did tack weld them together, just hold them in place. Goes right there, and then I bent this tube in here to where it uh, was pretty well centered in there. So, I'm going to take a quick recess. I'm going to mount the box. It should take about a minute or two. Hook it up and fire it up and see if it runs. Okay, I just installed my air box. And down there, flashlight here. You can see the propane coming in. You can see the little washer spacer in there. I'm going to start it up for you right now. It's not running the best, and I'm going to take this off and drill those washers out just a little bit because I don't think it's getting enough air. Let's see if I can get it started here for you right now. Currently, that's the max throttle that I can give it. You can hear it really sucking air. Let me throttle it down. It runs a little better when I throttle it down. I'm going to take this air box off, I'll take that washer spacer out and drill it out to, uh, I don't know, let's see, maybe 9 sixteenths inch or so and put it back on there and see what happens. The purpose of the washer is to increase the velocity of the air going through there, which will create a vacuum in that tube that's sucking the propane out of the regulator. And so without that, the other option would be to completely drill out the carburetor. And okay, I'm going to give you a quick recap. Last time I was here, I was going to drill out that uh, washer from half inch to 9 sixteenths. And the key was actually to remove the half inch washer and just go with the eighth inch or the 5 eighths inch washer. So right in here is sandwiched in that 5 eighths inch washer that's been reduced. Uh, used RTV sealant on both sides. Once again, this is the vacuum port. The vacuum port goes up here 
and actually turns on the gas. This is the low side, and it goes in here, hooks into this elbow, which goes inside to that uh, quarter inch copper tubing that rests in the center of that washer hole. Other things I've done is just taken the regular gasoline line and I plugged it. Um, everything for the gasoline is still intact. Uh, probably just switch it back over to gas. Probably have to take that washer out. But uh, cap that off to prevent any vacuum leaks. Up here, the regulator is mounted. There's the high pressure hose with a couple of uh, clamps to hold the hose in place. Back here is my platform with the propane tank and just welded a couple pieces of pipe with some uh, chain links for some bungee cords so that holds it pretty good in place um, and so let me show you how easy this thing runs how great it runs there it is idling there's a throttle So as you can see, the throttle response is pretty good. Um, so far I haven't noticed any issues with it. Um, I just got done mowing this uh, area around my shop and it ran just like it did on gasoline. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions, uh, post away in the comments section and I'll be glad to answer them.